This is to the bitch ass men that cry about paying child support. Let me put it to you like this. You get to live your life without a worry in the world. You get to go on vacations whenever. You get to hang out with your friends whenever you want. You get to go to brunch. You get to go out at night. You get to do whatever you want, right? You let them hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. You said I'm a head as kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you a single mom. Why does nobody talk about how hard it is to start dating a nice guy after you're only used to dating toxic men? Situationships usually give off this thing called intermittent reinforcement, meaning there's a lot of highs and a lot of lows and you gotta fight for the attention, which makes you think that you like the person way more than you actually do. And when they do show you that attention, it gives you a higher high. So when someone healthy and new comes around that actually shows genuine interest in you and like genuinely wants to be with you, you freak out and you don't know how to act because you're not used to it. When a real genuine connection is consistency, not the highs, highs, the low lows, it's a normal level. So it can seem really really unfamiliar and you might find yourself self-sabotaging picking fights waiting for the other shoe to drop needing constant reassurance but lean into that uncomfortability because you're worth a real genuine connection not the high highs and the low lows you're worth a baseline genuine connection you are and is worth it it seem like women that have children are like burdens i feel like that's what's portrayed to the world in general you never hear guys like i'm checking for the woman with kids you just don't hear that often you Hey, okay, question for y'all. What is too much baggage for you to handle when dating someone or in a relationship? Tell me. It's dating like as a single mom. Girl, terrible. Ooh. Terrible? <laughs> talk, talk to me about it. I won't date anyone that doesn't have a little girl. Really? Mm -hmm. You won't date anyone that doesn't have a daughter? No. What, all right, so what's the maximum number of kids that a man can have in order to date? I don't care. Really? Mm-hmm. Because a parent, a man, a single dad that has multiple kids will understand the struggles of a single mom. Being a single mom and like single, single, when I say single, I mean single and dating. Just hear me out. So I've been single for about three years. And when I say that it is so hard dating as a single mom, I really mean like it is so hard because you have to divide your time. Like if you start dating somebody, you have to think about the time, you know, that you're spending with your child and trying to commit to dating at the same time. Um, I will admit it's been really hard for me to even want to date anybody because I don't have time. I take care of my son by myself. And um, when I'm with him, I'm with him like 110%. So um, it's just so hard dating as a single mom. Um, and then, like I said before, just in general, dating is just, it's just gone down the drain. Um, people ghost and block and it's just not the same anymore. <sighs> Dating is just awful. It's awful. Men don't want to date single mothers or men always talking about single mothers, this, that, and the third. This is a perfect example as to why. Because again, you expect this man to come in, be the man of the house, pay all the bills, be romantic, do all that, be a father to a son that he didn't have. That's not my son. But he has no say-so. But he has no say-so in the discipline. He has no say-so in the guidance. He has no say-so in how this house is going to be ran in regards to your son. So how do you expect me to be the man of the house when every time that I try to tell him something that's right, you bucking the system because you getting emotional because you damn the message I'm saying you processing it as, no, you can't tell my baby nothing. Because mm -hmm. it's my baby. It's my baby. Yep. So as a man, how enticing is that of a situation to walk into? That's why men don't want to date single mothers. That's why. All right, y'all. Oh, so here's the deal. I'm about to share the uncomfortable truth about dating a single mom. Now I've seen it all over the internet and I decided as a single mother, let me just be honest. Let's get into it, family. I'm telling on myself, but it's all good. 
Number one, you will have less availability. Can't be too flexible with the scheduling. It is what it is. Number two, there will be more expectation. When a child is involved, you are dating intentionally, you are gonna be looking for more because it's not just about you. It's about your babies too. Number three, this goes along with the last one, more picky or pickier. I'm not sure which one is grammatically correct. Number four, more intentional. There will be less games being played. Can't speak in extreme, but I would assume most women that have children are going to be way more intentional. Number five, the potential of more responsibility. If it goes well, you'll be a stepdad. What so does come with more. Number six, the potential of more baggage. Number seven, may be way more mature to the increase of responsibility of caring for a child. I have the utmost respect for all females, but this is a male advisory channel. Gentlemen, I would not advise you to marry a single mother. Here are the eight disadvantages of marrying a single mother. One, you can never discipline that child. It's not good. Two, if the mother leaves, that's it. You have no hold over the child at all. Even though you had an emotional bond with that child, doesn't matter. If the mother is pissed off at you, she will use that against you. Three, your resources goes into another man's DNA. Four, if it's a girl, huge problem. Problem. All it takes is female teenage rage for her to accuse you of any sexual act. The mother will never ever with you over her child and the relationship will never be the same again. Five, there will never be spontaneous sex. Six, you will always need a babysitter. Seven, you will always be in a relationship with the father of the child as well. You will never have time to build a relationship with the mother alone. Relationships are hard enough to build. You shouldn't have a third person involved. And eight, and you will never ever ever come first. As a single mother, your value as a woman is less than somebody who does not have kids. If you're looking for that long-term relationship, which you've said you are, looking for a guy who's like at, at your age or older, the men who will be looking for what you're looking for aren't looking for you. They're looking for women who are much younger than you and who do not have kids. Do you understand that? Well, you seem to think that every woman is exactly the same, but I'm not the same kind of person as the woman you're talking about. I don't have an IQ of 100. I'm not a moron. I'm fairly oh, attractive. I don't think... I'm going to have an issue. And what I did decide was that I would rather be by myself. My concern wasn't a hypergamy. I'm going to go find someone older, wiser, smarter, better, richer, and do that. I just figured, hey, I'll just hunker down and work. At least I'll be happier by myself. You're saying that you wouldn't be with a single mother that's a millionaire? It wouldn't be my first option, no. You said a millionaire wouldn't want to be with a single mother that's a millionaire. If he can go ahead and get a girl that doesn't have a child, he'll prefer that, yes. Men are very different than women because when a guy comes into a woman's relationship or a relationship with a woman and she has a child, he's going to be expected to take care of that child to a degree. You don't just get with that girl, you get with that girl and that child. And here's the other thing you got to remember. If we break up and I build a bond with that child, I now lose you and the child. And I can't have any type of parental rights to that child because it's your biological child, not mine. I'm a stepfather. So I lose you, the child, alimony, house, 50%. So it's an L for me. It's not worth the risk. So clearly this woman is really upset with what I would just call the reality of being a single mother. Men are allowed to have preferences. A lot of men would prefer to not date a single mother. That doesn't mean that single mothers don't get remarried and that stepfathers don't exist because they do, but it shouldn't be a shock that that's not going to be for every guy. Single mothers often make poor choices by assuming that going solo is easier and more manageable. They may have been bored with their husband and believed that going solo would be easier, but now they are carrying all the responsibility. Studies show that single mothers' children are the most vulnerable as they struggle in school, fall into vices, and are more likely to end up in jail. The absence of a father diminishes the vital role of men in the family compared to the mother's work. Single mothers often lack proper education and support, and they often lack proper education and support. Instead of working things out with their husband and sharing responsibilities, they are advised to dive headfirst into single motherhood, which usually means leaning on their parents to foot the bill for her new adventure. Life is tough, and splitting up families on a whim doesn't help anyone. Before buying into the fantasy that going solo is the ultimate solution, Consider the long-term mess and the crucial role of a stable family. Men today are expected to be flawless, but no one can be perfect. Every man has flaws, and while his wife might know them, the outsiders don't. Suddenly, he becomes the worst guy in the world because he missed a birthday party. In conclusion, single mothers often make poor choices and are left with the burden of caring for their children alone. It is essential to recognize the importance of a stable family and the importance of a balanced relationship. And that concludes today's discussion on Megtow Voice.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.